guys, Shaggy here, aka G Unit. So today is another gameplay in Scoot Joe, and we're gonna do commentary today with Mr. JX23. How you doing? How's it going, guys? Your boy JX23. That that always makes me laugh, man. What that when he's just shouting at the beginning? Because we were just talking normally, and then he starts saying, "Hey guys, <laughs> Shaggy here." Like, Whoa, easy tiger. But whatever. How's it going? Now that's just my thing, man. People like to get entertained. That's what I do. You know, yeah, too many blue smarties. That's what it is. Blue smarties. Too many no, I don't like smarties. <laughs> okay, cool, whatever. No, dairy milk is the best. With Cadbury, Cadbury is the best. Oh man, awesome! I love Kit Kats, man. They're awesome. Galaxy Sharp. Yeah. Oh, Galaxy with a cookie crumble. No, I don't like any of those extra attachments like FMJ, but I like Cadbury the way it is. Attachments <laughs> FMJ. <laughs> I know that's a bit sad, nerdy there. That's like nerdy talk right there. Some people yeah. go to the shops like, hey, do you want this with FMJ? Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah. Oh, uh, um, what's it called? Extended mags. I want to talk Call of Duty to people in real life, but I feel like I'll get looked at a bit funny. You know? <laughs> like, like the online gamer on that, I don't know, that online gamer video. That's funny shit. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. That guy, that black guy. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, the party, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> funny as hell. Yeah, that's me, yeah. <laughs> no. All right, introduce yourself. Uh, well, in case any of your uh, subscribers don't know me, I'm JX23, and I'm a um, I'm a director on Machinima, and uh, I've got my own personal channel where I do my own commentaries and random videos, mainly Call of Duty, sometimes a bit of FIFA or a new game like Heavy Rain that I might fancy playing. But basically, how I got known and recognised was by doing commentaries for Call of Duty, more like sort of tutorial based. Uh, for beginners sometimes, but sometimes you might pick up some tips, like, they're sort of more like tips videos, I don't always get like beast scores and that, but I know quite a lot about the game, so yeah. I give tips for people on how to stay alive and how to improve their game, not, I don't always go like, I'm not a sudden submachine gun beast like most of your videos, you get getting like, 100 kills and stuff, but, yeah. it's a different style, more laid back probably. Yeah man, you see that's the, that's the, like, every, every different channels out there got their own unique thing about them, so that's what makes this YouTube community actually spread out in wide yeah. different ranges but my thing's just been awesome so <laughs> yeah <laughs> now that heavy rain thing you've been doing heavy rain thing now well i'm trying to get away with being a really bad call duty player but still putting up videos so i'm gonna have to start i have to start doing videos like heavy rain and uh <laughs> but yeah I, i've got heavy rain let's say machine where i just play through the game and um i talk through the game and just try and make it funny for people who are watching People maybe haven't bought the game and don't get a chance to play it. It's quite entertaining, man. It's a funny game. Yeah, it makes things around a bit. See, I've been trying to do that, but I can't get hold of the games at the moment. All yeah. that stuff and shit. Going it's on hard flash. to do it. I, I did a level of Modern Warfare 2, actually, doing the commentary, and that went down really well. People said uh, good comments for that one, but I tried to do the rest of the game, and, man, it is hard trying to concentrate on shooting people while you're talking as well. So I gave up on that. I decided to do a game that's more laid back, like Heavy Rain, where I'd have to think about what's going on. So. Wait, did, cool. you, did you do live commentaries? Yeah, they're, they're all live. All my Let's Plays are live. I oh. talk while I'm playing. Oh, that, now that's, that's the thing. Now, I used to do live commentaries. My older subscribers would know that. Mm. Um, but see, that those were much more funner. But I just don't mm. seem to get the time to do no. anymore. But still, uh, I'm, I think I might do that. But no, what I, I, that's only my let's plays where I'm playing single player. All of my online ones, I'm commentating afterwards. Oh, right, right. See, the thing that, is, that'd yeah. be insane. That'd be insane. Man. No, but like, you know, yeah, that's exactly what I did. Once I was playing my RPG only while I was commentating, and I got a pretty beast score at the end, and the host ended the game. Another one in Afghan where I'm using the UMP and get like 60 plus in that with live commentary. But the thing is, the thing about live commentaries, which makes it more entertaining, is that you actually get the reactions of... Mm. But you get distracted because you're trying to think too much about what you need to say. And also, like, when I play, sometimes I'm actually silent when I'm playing. I've been playing my friends and I'm just there like, I don't know, maybe like three or four off a nuke or something. I'm just dead silent, <laughs> concentrating, listening out for every footstep and everything. And I'm like panicking. And they're like, are you still there? I'm like, yeah, shush, I'm concentrating, shush. So, as I soon as you say like, that word, yeah, I'm concentrating, you get killed. Yeah, that, you, you, oh, I can hear him too talking. Oh. And then they start giggling at you. Always Yeah, up. I mean, I'm real try hard with the headsets, man. I love to, like, listen out for people who are creeping up on me. See, the thing is, the thing is, I don't have those fancy headsets, because, like, what? I don't. You Man, you got to save up. you got to get your machine money out when you get paid and get one. I know, I know, but the thing is, like, 
what people have been suggesting me to get is those P20 or those other fancy headsets. But uh, the one I use right now is the £10, uh, $10 headsets. Which oh, you man, get. you're a pro. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, but those are just where I use for fan communication. But when I play, yeah. I just put my TV sound on average 10, depending on your TV, what your sound is. But I use the Samsung 40 inch, which I use for TV sound around 10 to 15, depending on the day. But I think it really doesn't matter about the sound. I know. No, if, yeah. can, if you can get your normal headphones to work with your TV, that'll give you an advantage as well. It's just having that, the sound really close to your ears so you can just hear the footsteps. Like, I've got some fancy surround sound things which are, are a bit better, but if you don't fancy spending money, they're probably not worth the extra money unless you're like, into your gadgets and your headphones and stuff like I am. So, like, not yeah. It's about how people get used to it and if they're actually used to just playing by themselves without anything around them or... Lot of lots, lots of gadgets around the fingers attached to the controllers and headsets flying everywhere, and you know just so much protection of everything. I just, I, I just think that that's a bit you know overrated. But I mean, one one thing we were talking about before that surprised me that we haven't mentioned so far in this commentary is that you don't you play with default um, controller setup, and being a submachine gun running guy, running gun guy, I thought it would be like. The only way to play that would be to drop shot with tactical, but you seem to get away with it, all right? No, yeah, like um, what I do mostly is turn into sharp corners and attack them straight away. I never go back. See, that's the mm. thing about default. But like you know, tactical, I've never actually tried it. I tried it once and I gave up on it because I think analog's really distracting me. I just prefer a circle more than analog. Just uh, PS3, uh, by the way, yeah. I was saying that my subscribers will be saying, "What do you want about JX? Like you never drop shot anyway. So why are you doing shaggy to do it?" But uh, honestly, trust me, last couple of weeks I've been doing nothing but tactical and I'm, it's just become so natural now to me that anyone who plays default and is, is good at run and gunning, I'm thinking, wow, that's like, you have to really be on top of them because you just cannot, you don't get the drop shot advantage at all. You just have to, like you say, you just got to shoot them as soon as you see them. Yeah. It's not, like drop shot, the only time it saves you sometimes is if, if you get shot from the side or something. So if you make sure no one's shooting you from the side and you shoot them before they shoot you, it doesn't matter, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to actually try out a uh, tactical for a few weeks and see what scores I get, but... Probably I reckon does... you get even more, more beastly scores, I bet you. I bet you. I if it's know. possible. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Oh, snap, we finished. Yeah. 92 for 12. I enjoyed that dual commentary. Hope you guys enjoyed! <laughs> Shag... <laughs> Shag you! Sign out! Good night. Uh, good night. Good night. Good night. Yes. Good night. You like popcorn? You asking me? Yes, I'm asking you. Oh shit. Uh yeah man, it's awesome. I like it. <laughs>